Hi guys, one of the questions that keeps coming up is is it possible to run um, these front ends like CP78 by coal pipes on a different drive than it's assigned to like drive I? Quite a few of us have all our emulation on different drives like drive D or drive H um, most of mine are on H because of the uh, first ones I were using were Harrison's Hacks ones um, initially I didn't think it was possible but it is um, and the easy way to do it is if you run a command prompt and in there you run, you type in subst, S-U-B-S-T and then you give it the drive letter you want so if we're running CP78 we want I and then where it is originally so we're going to put D colon backslash games backslash CP78 and before I hit enter I'll just show you that there is no um, I drive on my system and then when I do that we go in there oh oh yeah it's not on bloody games is it I've just put it in the root so it's C78 sorry about that CP78 there enter and now all being well if I do F5 there, there we go so we now have a drive I and that's the root of CP78 so then you run the game loader all RH just to make everything all the paths properly work and then you can run the track mode and there you go you can see that's running I won't keep it running so that's it that's, it. that's all working now And that's it, that allows you to have your CP78 saved anywhere you want and you can run it from the D drive. If you want to get rid of it, then you just do subst I colon forward slash delete and that will unmount it. You see the windows just closed as Windows unmounts it and then we go back to my computer and the I drive's gone. So it's a really easy way. You could actually create a bat file that just does that easily so you could have different back files for different front ends just save it, save the back file um, if you don't know how to do that then let's just create a quick one in here um, if we do a CP78 one new, we'll start off with a text document and we'll call it mount to i mount CP78 to i and then we'll get rid of the end bit oh sorry, to i and we call it dot .bat and that will ask if you want to change it you put yes right mouse click on it and edit and in there all we need is the command that we just put so s-u-b-s-t i colon and then d colon backslash cp78 oh cp78 okay close that save it and then when we run that I've not actually tried this, I'm assuming it will work through a bat file oh, wrong one, sorry uh, this PC, oh bloody hell my mouse is all over, but yeah, there we go, we're back on there and then you could do another one that just unmounts it um, so copy that call this unmount CP78 like that and edit and in there we just leave that and put forward slash D and I'll leave the window open so you know it's there at the moment I oh, know it's not that one we'll open drive I and when I run that it should disappear there we go perfect so that's the easiest way of doing it you can create CP78 on any drive running on drive I so you can have your front ends you can do that for multiple front ends and obviously with the bat file that allows you to have a different bat file for each front end so before you play you click the mount button when you've finished hit the unmount and then you're not stressing whether you've got it running or not makes it a lot easier um, anyway I hope that's okay if you like the stuff that we're doing then please hit the subscribe button 
and um, feel free to share this video with all your friends okay cheers guys